a video on how to calculate mode of a data set. Now before proceeding with this video, let's understand first of all what is meant by mode. So mode of a data set is the value that appears most frequently in a series of data. So now let's consider this with an example. Here I have five set of five values. So here you can observe the number which is repeating the most in this series is 4.99. So the mode in this case will be 4.99. Let's consider one more example. Now here what we have is again a series of values. Now in this case also if you observe which is the number which is appearing most frequently. So you can see here 1.99 is appearing two times. All other values are appearing only once. So the mode in this case will be 1.99. Start with the query part or implementation part for this mode. How to generate the mode of a series of um, data. So here you can see I have one table in which I have different platform like here Android and iOS and for them I have different values of price based on the dates. Now what I want is like based on the platform, I want a mode. That means if I say Android, right? So the values which will be considered is only this set of values. Ones which I have selected. So now in this number series, you can see that the number which is repeating most is this 4.99. So the mode for Android should come as 4.99. Now let's move to another platform which is iOS. It is my this region. Now again, if you try to calculate the mode in iOS, it is like for this number series, we have to generate mode. Now how to generate it? We have to find the number which is repeating the most. Now which is that number? It is 1.99. So the mode for iOS will be 1.99. Now let's see how to implement this. So basic concept we got, we have to make a group and in that group, we have to find a count for each price. Now, for example, if you make a group by platform and USD price, you have to find out the count. So for this grouping of platform and price, you have to pick up a price which is repeating the most. Now we can use the SQL concept of group by. Let's consider a grouping done by platform and USD price. Now here you can see that I have done a grouping by platform as my first column. Second column is USD price. So you can see here when Platform is Android and USD price is 4.99 count is 2. Similarly, there are other sets all have one. Now, if we switch down back to iOS, again, we have platform as iOS and a price. So again, this set has a count of 2. So now what we have to pick up is 
a row where platform and price is fixed and for that which has the max count that means if you fix the platform android right so you have to focus only on the selected region now when platform is fixed we have to find which is the row which is having the highest count right so you can see when it's android and price is 4.99 the count is 2 which is the highest similarly you have to go in ios set and find a row which has the highest count so ios and 1.99 has a count of 2 so our focus will be only on these two values android 4.992 and android 29.99 and sorry ios 1.99 and 2 because these two have the highest count now how to get that so ultimately we have got one thing we have to do a partitioning based on the platform and then sorted by uh counts which are like having a very high value in that partition so what we'll do we'll use the concept of partitioning over here in sql so here i have done a partition by platform i have ordered by this count right i have ordered by this count as descending that means if you observe this partition the count where it is the highest consider this partition and in that partition we have to apply a filter where top count row is 1 so if we do that in this partition you will get only one row which is like android 4.99 and one this one again if you consider top count row is 1 so you will see that in this partition also we will get only one row which is ios 1.992 and 1 so let's review the final query This is our final query. This is what we analyzed, and on this query, just we have put one more filter. Top count row is one, and this way, if you execute this, you will get only two rows: one for Android 4.99 and iOS 1.99. So I hope you would have liked this video. So if you want me to make a video on any particular topic just write that in the description box and please please like this video and do subscribe this channel thank you